Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft Time by Casey. I am Casey. And today, these are the simple pattern bracelets that I will be making. Most of the components came from the dollar bead box and the dollar bead bag for the month of January 2024. And if you are interested in the dollar bead box or the dollar bead bag, or like me, you're interested in both, I'll have all the information in the description box below. And when you go check it out, you want to use my code. That code is CRAFT2. And that code will get you $2 off your first box of a multi-month subscription. So if you would like to see how these simple bracelets came about, then stay tuned. <laughs> I'm going to start with the tools that I will be using. I have one set of cutters, one size 10 beading needle, and I will be using a thread zap 2. I want to briefly mention my tool set. It is the Casual Comfort tool set, and as the name suggests, this is one of the most comfortable tool sets I have found. It is very high quality, very well made, and the biggest thing for me is the size, which leads to the comfort. These tools just seem to be made for adult size hands. A lot of times jewelry making tools will be like this right here, just a little bit smaller. And you can see the grips on this one are a little bit smaller as well. And they certainly function, but for me, ever since I found these casual comfort tools, I just can't imagine using anything else. So I will have this tool set linked below along with everything that I use in the video that did not come from the bead box. I am also using eight pound fire line in the color crystal, which is this white color. And I always get the 125 yards just because I go through it so quickly. And I have already threaded my needle with about a wingspan worth of thread where I hold it in this hand and I go all the way across with the other hand as far as my hands can go. And that is how much thread I am starting with. I will also link down below the opening video I did for the dollar bead box and dollar bead bag for January. And it will have a detailed description of everything I used that came from the box. From my own stash, I am using these brown 110 seed beads and a toggle clasp. And one of the highlights of this bracelet will be these two hole pyramid beads that came in the box. So I'm going to start by going through one of the two holes, just like this, and go all the way down. And you just need to leave enough to make a knot. And I'm going to turn right back around and go through the other hole in the same bead. So very simple so far. So the next thing I'm going to pick up is one of these round blue beads along with three 11 O's. And push it all the way to the bottom, just like this where it meets up with the pyramid bead. Then I'm going to take the end of the toggle and put, go through the loop. And once I get close to the front like this, I'm going to go through just the top 11-0. And then kind of hold it all with my thumb and pull it through. So it should look something like this. So now I'm going to pick up two more 11 O's and another blue round bead and go back through the other hole. So right now it looks just like this with that tail kind of hanging off. And I'm going to go back around one more time. I'm going to go through all of these all the way through to the toggle clasp at once through the loop in the toggle and back down the top 11 O. So back down the other side, those 11 O's and that blue bead. So now both my active thread and that tail are coming out that same spot. And now I'm just gonna tie a knot. So over, under, just like I'm tying my shoes and pull it snug and do it one more time, pull it snug. And I'm gonna take that tail and go in with my cutters, get as close as I can and go in with my thread zap. I'm gonna push that button and melt the nub. And now I'm gonna take my needle and go back through that pyramid bead, just like that. So now this is what it looks like. So this set right here is going to be the repeated pattern used a lot in this bracelet. So you have the round blue beads on either side, the smaller ones, then an 11-0 right next to the round ones, and then the larger blue bicone in the center. So push it down just like that. 
and we're going to get the next pyramid bead go all the way through one hole bring it down and then wrap around go through the other hole of the pyramid bead and now i'm going to pick up another round blue bead with an 11 0 and i'm going to go through just the bicone and pull it through like that and another 11 0 first this time and a round blue bead go through the other hole of the original pyramid bead and you don't have to do this but i'm going to do this i'm going to go around the clasp one final time to make it completely secure all right so currently i am coming out of this blue one right here so when i attach the second part i went all the way around the clasp and came back down through here back through the other side of this pyramid and i'm coming out of here so i am simply going to continue down through the 11 0 through the bicone and through the other two just like this through the pyramid and they'll be coming out the end all right so now i'm going to be adding the next section the same way but we'll do one more together so here is that same setup as before i'm going to go through one side of the pyramid bead pull it down and then wrap around and go through the other side round blue bead and an 11 0 going through the bicone just like that and then the other way 11 0 first then the round blue bead through the pyramid and then this is how you're going to turn around for the rest of the time you don't have to go all the way through the clasp again I'm going to flip the bracelet and i'm going to go back around through the pyramid that i'm coming out of now and i went ahead and went through that blue round one just like that and i'm going to go back through the 11 0 through the bicone through the 11 0 the round blue one through the pyramid and that is how i add each section i'm going to repeat that same process and we'll meet back up at the end all right so here it is here is the whole strand and now we're going to close it off so i'm picking up one blue round bead and three 11 o's pushing it down i'm going to go through the other end of the toggle and then here at the end i'm going to go back through just the first 11 o just like that now i'm picking up two 11 o's then the blue round going through the other side and instead of just rounding it off here at this pyramid i'm going to make my way all the way through to this second pyramid and work my way around and back so i'm going to go through the blue and the 11 0 and this bicone and then through to this second pyramid and now here is where i'm going to flip the bracelet go back through the other side of that pyramid and I'm going to go ahead and work my way through as many beads as I can. So I have it through the round blue one, the 11 0, and that bicone. And now I'm going to flip it back to the front and go back through the 11 0, that round blue one, through the pyramid. And now I'm going to go around the clasp one more time. All right. So I've worked my way around the clasp and I am now coming out right here. And I'm going to make a knot by going through this center here and pulling it till there's a loop going through the loop and I'm going to go through the pyramid bead and make another knot right here through that center pull it up through the loop and I want to make sure that knot falls in the right place and then do it a second time here nice and snug and now I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to take the thread zap to that nub, push the button and melt that down. Just like that. And here is the final piece. And I really, really like these pyramid beads. I think they are super cute. I love that frosted aspect to it these are beautiful and with these blue round beads in between it really likens them to those bicones i just think this is beautiful all right and i want 
to show a variation. Now, if we look at the two, these are the same pattern. We have a two hole bead here in the, right here in the center of each of these components and the kind of cross, for lack of a better word, that X is done the same way. But here on this one, I'm gonna show just kind of a extra step, a little flourish that you can add to it just for variation. I have completed both sides. The clasp is on. This time I'm using a magnet clasp. So everything is the exact same and I am now coming out right here. And I'm using the same seed beads that I've used this whole bracelet. And instead of going through the two hole bead, I'm gonna go around it into this side bead here of the X. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through as many as I can. And when I pull it through, it should just lay on the circle like that. And I'm gonna come out the next one. All right, and here we are. As you can see, I went all the way down one side of the bracelet. And then when I got here at the end, I went around where the clasp is one last time. And now I'm coming out right here. And I pick up four more. Go through that same way. And just like that, we're working our way down the other side and kind of closing in that circle. All right, so as you can see, I'm here at this last one and I've picked up my last four. So I'm gonna go through this last one and I'm gonna go around the clasp one last time. All right, so I went around the clasp and I'm now coming out right here on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and make a knot by going right inside here, making a loop, go through the loop, pull it snug. One more time. And then I'm gonna get as close as I can with my cutters. And I get my thread zap, push that button, and go right in where that little nub is melt it down. And there you have it. And so you see, same pattern, just a different little flourish at the end. All right, so here they are. I have to say, I am very happy with how they came out. I absolutely love how just a slight variation can make it look like almost a completely different bracelet. Obviously, you can see the similarities, but that is one thing that is really awesome about the dollar bead box is that the variety of beads they have just make your pieces look so different. And I just love it. So once again, if you are interested in the dollar bead box or the dollar bead bag, I will have the information in the description box below. And when you check it out, you want to use my code. That code is CRAFT2. And that code will get you $2 off your first box of a multi-month subscription. So if you like this video and you want to see other videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give me a like. Leave a comment. I absolutely love reading my comments. You guys are so, so kind. And I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.